today I am going to show you the blood vessel distribution in a rabbit but we are not going to cover each and every blood vessel it will be some limited number of arteries and veins because primarily this is for the Augusta University's anatomy class covering the learning objectives once you start with the rabbit you will need the tools the forceps the scissors and the blind probe except for opening the body cavity or sometimes cleaning up the muscles try not to use the scissor otherwise it might damage the blood vessel we will be using blunt probe mostly and then the forceps of course you need the personal protective equipment wear your gloves you need the lab coat and if the preservative smell bothers you wear the safety glasses So first, we will open up the body cavity. There are certain areas we will make the incision. As you can see, I opened up the abdominal cavity. When we start, we try to work around the diaphragm. So we will keep the diaphragm intact and then we will make incisions gently. So this area is below diaphragm and then I made some incisions. So this is superior to the diaphragm. It means this is the thoracic cavity where heart is located. Once you open the thoracic cavity, you will not be able to see the heart distinctly. Because the very first organ you will be able to see is the thymus gland which covers a superior part, almost half area of heart. So what we have to do, we will remove the thymus gland. But here, as I mentioned to you, every trimming or dissection, we have to be very careful so that we do not damage any blood vessels. So I am removing the thymus gland carefully. Now you can see the heart will start showing up. And then after the thymus, the outer protective covering of heart, that is the pericardium, you can distinctly see the pericardium here that's uh, almost like a covering over the heart this is uh, this is the layer of the pericardium we will clean it to see the heart the different parts of the heart and the blood vessels coming out of the heart which are the arteries and margin in the heart, those are the veins. We are looking at the heart, still with the pericardium on top of it. If you look from this angle, you can distinctly see how that sac or covering of pericardium is here. So we will gradually clean this. And also around the heart and the blood vessels, we will also find a lot of adipose tissues. So we have to care carefully remove those to look at the structure in the thoracic cavity, heart, and then laterally, these are the lungs. So this will be the left lung. This will be the right lung. Diaphragm over here. This is the thoracic cavity.
Now we will look below the diaphragm or inferior to the diaphragm. So here, this is the muscular structure, that's diaphragm. Before we actually start cleaning the blood vessels, what I would like to do, go over to the organs. Once you know the organs, it will be a lot easier to follow the blood vessels. As soon as we open the abdominal cavity, the huge area is taken by two organs. Here is the liver. So this is liver. Underneath the liver, look at the stomach. How big is it? Behind the stomach, that means posterior to the stomach. This is spleen. As we are going through the organs of the digestive system, I am following that. Here are the small intestine. Within the small intestine, you can see beautifully the mesentery. The mesentery. After small intestine, there comes the large intestine. Here for the distribution of large intestine, it is different in rabbit from the humans. And there are a few other organs and blood vessels which are different in rabbit than the human, which I will mention periodically. If we remove, if we put all of these organs on one side, we can see kidney, as I mentioned to you, supported by, covered by the adipose tissue. Now here, uh, for the humans, on top of the kidney, there is the adrenal gland, which sits like a hat on top of the kidney. But for rabbit, the adrenal gland is right beside the abdominal aorta or the descending aorta. We are following down here. This is still the very last part of the large intestine. That means uh, this is rectum. And then for the, for below here, we will again uh, come back later once we follow the blood vessels in the lower leg of the rabbit. Now you can distinctly see the heart because thymus gland and the pericardium has been removed. Heart, the top two chambers are the atria, bottom two are the ventricles. First blood vessel coming out of the heart to the left ventricle, this is aorta. This particular part is called the arch of aorta, which then becomes divided into two major branches. First one over here on the left side, this is the left subclavian artery. On the right, here is the brachiocephalic trunk, which then will be divided into three branches, left and right common corroded arteries, and this will be the right subclavian artery. We can see here, these are the jugulars, external jugular. You, this is a bridge, which is called the transverse jugular, present in the rabbit, not in the humans. And also, the rabbits have another distinct difference. They have two superior veni cavi. For the humans, we have only one. So here is the superior vena cava, right and one, and this is the superior vena cava left. Both of those, if we look at the back, will merge into the right atrium. And here is the inferior vena cava, also merging to the right atrium. 